tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after-show entertainment. Johnson. 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 AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey there, Sword Art Online fans. Welcome to another edition of the After Buzz Recap Show. This week's episode is episode 25, The World Seed. How are you guys doing today? Good. Better. <laughs> so, <laughs> so better. much better. <laughs> it's <Jo> over now. <laughs> no more <laughs> to go. Yes. Joining me on the panel today is Katie Cullen. Yay! <laughs> Liz Rishmaui. What's going on? Tari Miller. What are you doing? I'm your host, Megan Salinas, and joining us on the panel today, we have three, count them, three, everybody, very, very special Uno guests. Uno dos tres. Uno dos tres. Three. And it's a reunion of the Moonlit Black Cats. Joining us on the panel today is Eric Kimmerer. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Lucian Dodge. Hello. And Xanthi Wynn. How are you guys? Doing well, thank you. Good. Thank you guys so, so much for joining us on the panel today. And I'm really glad we have you here, because now that we're at the end of the series, it's kind of nice to go back and talk to you guys. And it, I feel like everything is going for a circle. Because yes. none of this would have happened if you guys hadn't been there. Absolutely. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. None of it. Absolutely none of this. It's all because of us. We claim credit for everything. We're the plot points, the major plot points of an episode. <laughs> We're really the heroes yeah. of the show. Yeah. yeah. None of this really could have that happened. That being yeah. said, your guys' episodes did rip our hearts out. I hope oh, you yeah. 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 So I think it was the, the first episode in the series where it was, for me, it was, I felt like, whoa, stuff Stuff's just real. got real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People yeah. are dead now. I know yeah. someone died the previous episode, but we didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Important. yeah. Didn't we know guys. them. <laughs> now we've got emotional attachment? What? Okay. I don't want to so get attached. attached. <laughs> well, what's funny is at Anime Expo, they did a uh, fan vote of the top three favorite episodes of Sword Art Online and aired them there uh, before they did the premiere for the second mm -hmm. season. And the first two episodes were the very heartbreaking ones. It was our episode, and it was the one with Yui. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it seems yeah. the fans really like getting their hearts broken. What was the third? <laughs> the third Yui. was, um, I think it was the one where Asuna and Kirito just started hanging out and like started their oh, team together. The monster, I think. The, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that was it. That's that makes sense. One. Yeah. But, um, but no, that makes sense because as television viewers, viewing television these days is a lot like being in an abusive relationship. <laughs> no, matter, no matter how badly the show hurts you, you keep coming back to it. That's uh, <laughs> <it's laughs> the period of this show. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, look at like all the stuff that's popular right now, like Game of Thrones and Walking, Walking Dead, Dead. And Breaking Bad. And, yeah. Exactly. No matter how much badly it hurts you, you can't look away. It's like a train wreck. And people well, we go to TV for why escapism. I watch cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a catharsis. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm glad that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Schadenfreude, right? Yeah, exactly. Schadenfreude. Yeah. Okay. Making me feel glad that I'm not you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a song about it too. There is. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this week's episode because not only are we going to talk about episode 25, The World Seed, we've gotten a ton of requests from you guys uh, who, who comment on YouTube and everything like that to review uh, the extra edition. And we're going to be honest, we don't really have time to go through that just with our airing schedule and anything, but we will touch on it uh, towards the end of this episode. So we will talk about it. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about episode 25 right now. Uh, this episode starts off with Kirito riding um, full speed ahead towards the hospital where Asuna is staying. And in his mind, he's kind of playing out two different scenarios. One scenario in his head is that she's going to be there sitting up, you know, awake, waiting for him. And the other scenario is that something went wrong and that all all her vitals just flatline. And so he's he's on his way to the hospital. It's when, Schrodinger's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> is, she, is she alive or is she dead? He won't know until he looks. <laughs> She's both until he actually walks into the room. The other 299 people don't matter. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the funny They're thing. They're still not logged out. <laughs> Priorities. He was so dead set on going to see his girlfriend that he kind of forgot to log out all those people who are trapped. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're still there right now. Yeah. yeah. Womp, womp. 
But anyway, so he as he's pulling up to the hospital, who should be there waiting for him but Sugo with yes. a knife. Yeah. And I totally called it. The first thing I said after at the end of the last episode was, Sugo's still alive. Yes, yeah. Sugo's still alive. Somebody call the cops. Somebody do something. <laughs> Why is nobody doing anything? There's this crazy guy still on the loose. Every time I uh, I remember, because Katie, Katie is the person who doesn't like to, like, she she goes as we go with the, the season. She doesn't want spoilers. And yeah. she kept on saying last week when we were recapping the last two episodes, you're like, I'm glad that guy's dead. I'm like, yeah, well, he, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, totally. But, you presume, but I, I also told you that my happy ending was seeing him get arrested, and lo and behold, I and didn't get to see it. But unfortunately, I don't but. care. We saw him interrogated, and we know he's host. So, yeah, so but, hey, we're good. But yeah, yeah, that whole scene, like I, I actually wasn't expecting it. Uh, really? Well, I knew that he was probably still alive, and I, I figured before I watched this episode, they were probably going to touch on what happened to him. But I thought it was going to be something like he tried to escape the country, but then they caught him, and da 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 da. <laughs> I didn't know he was just going to be like there. Like I thought maybe he would be having so much difficulty and in pain and like severely hurt from what happened in the game that, that he wouldn't he, have been able to he move. wouldn't have been right. able to like get there and then that's when he said it I was like what <laughs> <laughs> he's in berserker mode right <sighs> I mean he's vindictive enough to be like no I'm gonna kill this kid <laughs> yeah. no chance he wouldn't show up at the hospital he, like crawl I've over lost there. feeling on the right side of my body but by yeah, gosh I will shank that kid <laughs> um, when I had first watched it I assumed that he was gonna go kill um, Asuna just as like yeah. a really yeah that's that's what I was really afraid of. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I thought that first too, but I figured if he were to actually kill Asuna, it wouldn't benefit him at all because like, I mean, granted, this hospital has no security. Um, and yeah. no, one's, no one's watching <laughs> anyway. Negligent hospital in the world. Yeah, I'm telling you, all of these hospitals exist in Silent Hill. But there's no staff. There's no nothing. Creepy people hang out outside. It's, but it's, but yeah. like, I think that... Uh, you know, I, I feel like it would have hurt him because, you know, he was supposed to either be, like, adopted slash marry her, so to speak, to get the wealth of her her father's share in the company. So it really wouldn't have benefited him if something did happen to well, her. Well, you expect him to think straight at this point. Yeah, yeah. at that well, point, did he everything him lost? To, I, mean, I expect he, him to yeah. touch her inappropriately, not kill her to ruin his own chances. But, yeah. but no, but no, I think you're absolutely right because he, he was, he was, he had lost at that point. Yeah, and everything, now, nothing, he didn't really have much to hold on to. There was no Way he could bounce back after that. So yeah, and the pe and people are out and about, and they know what he's done. Yeah. So they're clearly going to go to the cops. The only thing he can do is run. But instead, he decided to run back to the hospital because he's got these weird delusions of grandeur. Which it's isn't the first place they would look for him, is it? I mean, that seems yeah. kind of. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> no. I'm still the fairy king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's that's probably the funny thing too is he's still in such denial that he's going to win. It's like, no, dude, it's <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like all the companies will accept me and want my my grandeur and my my godlike powers. And it's like, um, it, it, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing to stop me from taking over the world. Sit down, <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Yeah, but that whole scene was pretty intense, though. I mean, yeah, because he gets his arm slashed. Yeah, because we see like probably actually for the first time in this entire series we see blood mm -hmm. because real the, blood yeah like not real... pixelated crystals of ruby goodness <laughs> <laughs> yeah if that ruby happened in the goodness. real world i'd be worried about everything <laughs> <laughs> just like i never left the game oh no <laughs> every time i get a paper cut like did it oh pretty <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That was definitely the plus side of watching this series. Is whenever whenever scenes got really brutal, you know, we we never saw any blood or anything like that. Even even when it was like heart wrenching yeah. and kind of terrible to watch, especially with Laughing Coffin. Mm -hmm. But this is this is not a game. This is real, and there's blood, and there's a guy with a knife gunning for you. Yeah. The consequences are real now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You guys died in a pretty glittery sense. It was very <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, but they still died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's true. Well, we still didn't death see Kata involved. die. No, no, no. no. You, saw me you just see him get smaller and smaller. <laughs> Sorry, that gets hurt. He's just falling in but a loop. I, but they didn't he, though? Because I felt like he fell, and then at, at the, he hit a certain point very down below, and it right. kind of went like... Poof. No, um, what like, we see that happens, but we didn't. See we that. we see that later when other people commit suicide. Um, yeah. when Yui's watching them, we see them okay. crystallize. But because for a while we didn't know what happened to people when they jumped off the edge, yeah. because we never saw what happened to Kata. Right. Yeah. Falling for a different. There was sorry, part of I, us. I shouldn't say this. I know it's a big spoiler, but uh, you know, uh, newsflash: uh, season three, Kata 
He's the villain. <laughs> <laughs> He's been alive this whole time. He just uh, lands an alpine online. Really online exactly. like, Big twist. Sorry, he, I know I shouldn't just, have spoiled that. When they spawned in Halo, yeah. he's just like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? He just ended up back at the okay. town of beginnings. <laughs> in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. But in but as as Sugo is trying to kill Kirito, Kirito comes to the realization clearly that this guy is insane, but that he's never had any real power. You know, throughout all all of this, it was all just kind of overcompensating for how weak he is in his you know in real life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so Kirito manages to disarm him, and in like Muck a bl- the knife <laughs> and in a blinding rage, is this close to slitting Sugo's throat? And I was so. I was so relieved when he didn't. Yeah. Right. Because if he had gone through with it, I was like, you can't be our hero anymore. You're you're an anti-hero at best, if not, you know, just as bad as the person you just killed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what did you guys think on that? I'm so glad they didn't actually go there. It's like, <laughs> don't, don't put it down. Don't this is not the game. This is not the game. Well, yeah. <sighs> like in that moment, like Especially like during this episode, you keep seeing him flash over the people's characters to their uh, real life bodies, and so it's him trying to distinguish between real life and like the game world. And so in 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 game world, especially during the ALO arc, he was killing people left and right, and so it was that moment where he was contemplating his yeah yeah exactly i was just i'm that person who's like sitting there leaning on my side watching on my computer my cats are like around me and then i freak out my cat because i'm like come on at least take the knife with you (laughs) (laughs) come on like that was that was the only thing that bugged me he's like you're not worth it yeah, put the knife there. Put the knife no. there. Take it with you. And turn your back to him. Yeah. It's a proof. Yeah, you're really lucky that, you know, Sugo just kind of keeled over there yeah. in the parking yeah. lot yeah. because he he made a beeline to Asuna's room and, again, didn't call the cops. Ever, you know, he's a teenager. Every teenager has a cell phone. Just well, a quick call to 911. I hope he'd stop and, like, yeah. get this bandaged up in the hospital no, or something. there wasn't he's... even a night receptionist. <laughs> no, I know. What hospital is this? <laughs> this is the best hospital money can buy, but we can't afford a night receptionist. <laughs> We can't future. afford a night staff. In the future, there were a lot of strikes for the, the medical <laughs> workers in Japan. And, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Well, all we can the expect funds, it in 2020. All the funds went towards feeding Asuna. Because when she woke up, she wasn't like a bag of bones. She was plump. And yeah, yeah. She, so yeah, yeah she looked off. fantastic. When Kirito woke up. shining. <laughs> yeah. When Kirito woke up, his hair's all greasy and he's em- emaciated. But when she I always want to say emancipated. I just, <laughs> I just that's not right. Well, well that's anymore. I just had that conversation the other day. I'm like, they're like emancipate that, like Macaulay Culkin. Well, he was a little both, but <laughs> well, no, but emancipated actually is a correct word for when he woke up because they were all afraid. But she's the girl and the love interest, so she has to look good. But I will say, you know, despite Never do that baby some, voice again. <laughs> despite you know a lot of the flaws that have been in season two, it is wonderful to see them come back together. Yeah. Yeah. And despite you know again the flaws, it's been. It's been great, and it's great to see them back together, and it's great. Um, they're still cute. They're still adorable, and I like seeing them together. So it was it was gratifying to see them come back together again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the opening theme kicks in, and I'm like, oh, that's the end of the episode. Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes, like we wrapped minutes. everything up. <laughs> Just like, wow, that was that was short. That was quick. <laughs> short on. on. To the point. Um, but then we cut to um, SAO High, which is kind of what I would like a series about. <laughs> yeah. You know, because all the people from Sword Art Online have kind of been put in one school together, you know, regardless of your grade or anything like that. Um, but to keep an eye on them. But that means that everybody who made connections in the game has now, you know, now they get to meet in the real world and they get to interact with each other and so these people that you've made bonds with over the last two years you get to see them again does anybody find it interesting that the only person who seemingly looked different from their avatar after um uh aki aki kayaba 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 after he he took out the thing and everybody was supposed to look exactly like how they did in it, the only person who looked different because of her hair color was Lisbeth. Yeah, yeah, it was I think, weird. I don't I, think she got a mod in game that she was able to do that with. Or yeah, yeah. Something. maybe. Yeah. But you would think yeah. that the mods weren't allowed because like nobody else, like no one else, seemed to have well, mods. Well, there maybe was an info broker. Hair. There was yeah. an info broker that had uh, marks on her face and, and that green in game mod. Yeah, yeah. Diabel from the second episode as well had blue hair, like striking blue hair. Yeah, exactly. yeah. but it's, it's also like I. But you didn't know. 
what they look like outside the game. And I guess she's the only one that we've really seen after outside the game that yeah. she had not pink hair. But then I'm thinking, what if they had like dyed hair and then as they were playing the game two years in, it grew out? Like, did their root show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, well, actually, in um, in the episode with Elizabeth, uh, she she had a picture of herself and a couple other people, and she had brown hair in that's the right. picture. Okay, so she it was an in game thing. Okay, but that well, would be funny. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, no, no. There was something I wanted to mention off of the uh, reunion and and uh, when Kayaba made everybody see their real selves uh, in the in episode twenty five when they're going through the flashes and Kirito is narrating over what happened after he and Asuna reunited. There was one thing that I did want to point out, a little cute little Easter egg. Do you guys remember those two guys? That were they were in the dresses? Yes. Well, there was like a guy playing right. a girl. It was you're a not a girl. You're, 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 you're not a girl. You're not a girl. Yeah. You see them in the hospital reuniting, and they're so happy to see each other in that scene. There's a flash. <laughs> of them. That, that was them. That was them, yeah. Game. Yeah. I so I, I would like to, my headcanon is they married in game. They actually <laughs> they found love. love. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I think it's because one of them looked like super plump, and the other one like had they had longer hair or something in yeah, like yeah, one yeah. scene. So. And well, it was different colors, too. I, yeah. yeah. Well, that's terrible, then, because they were one of the people that were caught, you know, it was 300 caught. people who, that were caught from SAO. He was caught in yeah. drag for, like, three years. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, that's terrible. But that's great. That I, I didn't realize that was them. Yeah, that's that was hilarious. a cute little Easter egg that I caught just, like, watching it a, how, an hour ago when I was preparing for this. I was like, <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> Love found a way. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but t speaking on that, um, as as Kirito and Asuna are sitting down and they're talking about kind of this is kind of our epilogue episode now um, because we find out that Wreck has folded uh, folded under after this scandal. Sugo has gone to jail. Asuna's dad is retired and taking an early retirement and now doesn't know what to do with all his free time. And the three hundred people who were trapped um, in after Sao no um, damage, no memory. Exactly, they're what a all waste. fine. Yeah. yeah. What? A waste of a plot setup. Because you could have done so much with these people who had their memories messed up. You could have set something in place so that things would happen in the real world when they woke up. You could have made them sleeper agents within the game. Again, you could have made Asuna the final boss, brainwashed her and been like, oh, you have to fight her for my amusement. You could have given them I. Stockholm Syndrome and have them in the next games in the next seasons. Like they, they just don't want to leave the games they anymore. They can't leave they the can't. virtual world. Yeah. They're like, they are now NPCs. What a waste <laughs> of a it's like hell. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Absolutely nothing happened with this. Yeah. They had so much potential and it was just like, oh well. It would have been evil. There were there was a lot of potential here in the same way that there was a lot of potential in the first arc for various things, um, especially Laughing Coffin. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe season three or four. We will see. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Uh, Spoilers, Lucian. Yeah. I also, Sorry. I also like how um, their whole thing, I, I didn't see the version in Japanese, so I don't know what the exact lines were. With the whole thing like, Kitty, you know, like, uh, Kazuto, are you aware that everybody in the cafeteria can see us? Mm -hmm. And that whole, like, embarrassing thing, and again, maybe it was different lines in the Japanese version, and maybe I don't get it because it's the whole Japanese, like, Mindset of the whole like very shy, not open publicly with no like public relationships. Space of yeah. Yeah. yeah, no PDA, yeah. no PDA. Yeah. And a lot of schools, so. like they're in school right now, and a lot of schools will actually have rules like that in Japan, where there is absolutely zero PDA, or you can get suspended. Uh, really? But yeah. anyway, but I just thought that was really funny. And then we have like Liz Beth and um, what's her name? The pigtails. Silica. We never get her actual real life name. I know. And um, actually, Lisbeth's name is different too. I, I don't remember what it was. I want to say it was, it was Mika. Like Ruka or something. Ruka. Like that. Ruka. Bert. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Larry. Bert. Larry. And Silica was Ernie, I yeah. think. I think they spun <laughs> off and did a show with yeah. Muppets. Yeah. I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon was the rubber ducky. <laughs> Oh. She's like there with her pigtail. I was like, Baba Ducky, you're skizzy, skizzy. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> oh, gosh. Although it is great to see them. And actually, um, when, when school lets out, uh, they all go to Agil's cafe for, or his bar, for a big party. Um, and that's when, you know, we, we have Sugu and. Asuna and Kirito and Sugu definitely feeling like a third yeah. wheel. Yeah. Um, but then we get at the party, we get kind of wrap ups for various other people in the game, like Yulier and Thinker got married, which Yay. I was like, yes, they got married, they got a happy ending. Yeah. And things like that. And ultimately, we find out what happened with the world seed, which uh, once they determined it was safe, uh, safe to use, they uploaded it to a server. And what it was is it has the capability for anybody who downloads it to create their own MMO. 
And, and so the, they're interlocking with uh, one world can visit another world and yeah, and all, all that other the worlds stuff. are connected. And yeah. it's basically the cardinal system for dummies. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you can create your own little MMO, and it's getting to the point where you can create one character in one game and hop over to another character. And still have all your stuff and specs and yeah, exactly. It's awesome. And another another thing from this is that Alfheim Online was actually picked up by another company because mm -hmm. prior to that, Alfheim was shut down. Yes. And because for of good again, for millions of different scandal <laughs> <Okay>. reasons. <laughs> so, here, so here's my thing about that that whole thing. So <laughs> I'm gonna role play as Kirito just for a moment, okay? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey, you know that place where all those people died, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I suffered all that emotional scarring, and it was just really a PTSD. Yeah. terrible. You know what sounds like fun? <laughs> Going back there. Seriously? No! No! That no. That entire scene we have that. to go back to the island, Kate. We no. have to go back to the island. No! <laughs> Screw the island! No! That scene, I don't wanna. There's a smoke monster there! <laughs> no! Why? That, that scene reminded me, like, I mean, we're uh, when when the scene goes, when they're in the game, and you just see it appearing in front of the moon, and all its, gl it's glorious Splendor. Years ago, when I saw Titanic with my mother, the one <laughs> funny thing I think the rare things that she say that's funny. Sorry, mom. Um, but oh, she, wow. she, she, I just remember at the very end of the you watch, you're stuck in this chair for three hours watching Titanic. You're exhausted, and in the end, she dies. Er, spoiler, he dies. No, he no, dies. she dies. Oh, at the very, very end. Spoiler alert. No, I'm not gonna watch the movie. Came out almost <laughs> 20, 17 yeah, years, or you know, a long time ago. So deal with it. But um. But basically, the one thing she said, and the entire movie cracked up, was when she's like envisioning herself, heaven is back on the Titanic, and my mom just said, ah, sh crap, I'm back here again? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, and the entire theater, like, people are crying still, they're moved, and then they just start laughing. Someone's pissed that they're laughing at it, because, you know, but, like, that's what I felt, was this thing, like, it's coming back, and it'd be like, damn it, no! You know, like, you don't, ugh. On the one hand, I can understand having a certain nostalgia for for it because it for for some people they you know they they grew accustomed to life yeah. in the game so i can understand yeah. But yeah, Stop there was home. a lot of death there. <laughs> kind of terrible. You and expect the Death Star music. When yeah. <laughs> when Castle I was coming, no from a, moon. coming from a gamer's mentality, I mean, I get the idea of, oh, I got to go back and complete this game I never completed before. Yeah. But, yeah, but not if people actually not die. If, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not, not if it, <laughs> yeah, and let's live through it again and friend, actually beat it this time. <laughs> Can't wait for level 75. <laughs> and don't worry, I reset all my stats, so we're going to go from scratch. So I really got to work hard at this. That's my mind. <laughs> It's like, don't you want to just go in there and be a god, just like reaping everything <laughs> ahead of you and yeah. be like, level 100 in a day. It's no, like I getting... want to face laughing coffin again. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, like, if you have the golden gun and, you know, golden eye, why would you go back to a regular pistol? Exactly. Yeah, seems because silly. the magnum in golden eye is horribly overpowered. That's why. <laughs> well, so is Kirito. Yeah. But, uh, he was the golden true. gun of the game. But I can appreciate what he was trying smart. to do for his little sister, too, because yeah. they, you know, it was, you know, do you she, want to beat the game with she felt very left out because oh. here are all these people that have had all this experience years into the game and she's kind of still a noob so to speak yeah. and you know just being left out like she's sitting there at the bar like I don't belong here why am I here why am I included into any of this I didn't suffer this with these people I'm not going to the same school I don't have the same life and that was Come, her initial motivation. share our trauma yeah, yeah that was her initial motivation for getting into Alfheim online anyway yeah. so it was because just she, she wanted she to understand she wanted yeah. to understand and I think it, now it just comes full circle for her because now Kirito can bring her on that journey that yeah. he did mm -hmm. I think I'll I say this anywhere as long as it's with you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I say this every episode, but nobody learned from Dot Hack, the series, the sequel. <laughs> Why do they keep going in? <laughs> Uh, and now it's like Gameception because Castle Einkrad is in Alfheim Online. So oh. it's like, how many layers do we keep going? <laughs> we have to they go have deeper. Wings, they can, well, I wonder, too, how interesting it is if they're combining, though. I wonder if they can use magic now in Alfheim. That'd oh, awesome. you mean an an Einkraft? Uh, Einkraft, Oh yeah. wow, Einkraft. yeah. I would that's... hope the world seed would have a, a balancing system within yeah. it, so it wouldn't break. <laughs> like they like... just like freeze that scary, creepy like caterpillar, like skeleton the death thing. Or better yet, somebody yeah. comes uh, back from gun, gun from guns online and just starts shooting everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. You guys I got have swords? A gun. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they just fly to the top of Einkraft? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> there you go. Just get to the. <laughs> get to the and why didn't they use the floor? eagles to get to Mount Doom? <laughs> That's true. Although, how that great would it be? Inside. Yeah, if you if you had a camping sniper in Minecraft, that just would help so much. On the top of the tower. <laughs> that would be so great. Well, before uh, before we go ahead and talk about Sao Extra Edition, because that's basically where the series ends, is everybody coming together um, to go through Castle Einkrad. Uh, before Fine. we before we talk about that, I want to talk to you guys really quick about iTunes, folks. Thank you so much for everybody who's gone to comment and rate on iTunes. We read the comments. We absolutely love what you have to say, and we read all the comments on YouTube too. Thank you guys so much. And honestly, going to iTunes and rating and leaving a comment is the best way we can let our bosses know that you like the content that we're putting out. After Buzz puts out what seventy five shows like a week. Like it's like seven. It's anywhere between sixty to eighty hours of content per week. Exactly. None of the engineers sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We have proof. They. It's kind of ridiculous how hard they work. And so uh, it really means a lot to us when you guys leave a comment and you rate, uh, because that know that tells us that we're doing a good job and that we're putting on the show you want to see. And that's how we get great guests like these guys. <laughs> yeah. Give us yeah. five stars because we love you just as much as you love us. <laughs> Exactly. So thank you, everybody who's gone. Keep up the good work. We really appreciate it. Okay, so really quick before, we, we want to talk to you guys about uh, your involvement with Sword Art Online and voice acting in general. So we're going to speed through SAO Extra Edition. Um, we, we've gotten tons and tons of comments from you guys that you wanted to hear us talk about it, so I apologize we're not going to go into it very much in depth. But basically, it's mostly a recap film, yeah. because yeah. Kazuto is telling the story of what happened to him in SAO, and we also have this side story where the ladies of SAO are teaching Sugu how to swim, which is just Fan kind of a big corner. Yeah, which yeah. is yeah, just a much. big excuse to see the girls in their swimsuits. They didn't it's get a swimsuit and... episode in the anime, so they got to do it here. Yeah. <laughs> it's an hour and a half of recap and swimsuits, so we just skip to the end. Because <laughs> yeah, no, towards seriously. the end, there they actually do go on an underwater mission because Yui wants to see what a whale looks like, and <laughs> Yui wants to ride a whale. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> That's the dream. But so they they all decide to go on this underwater mission together, which I actually really enjoy. This this was a lot of fun because we get to see everybody that we've grown attached to in the series who've gotten their own kind of individual episodes separate from each other. We get to see them come together for the first time on a mission and play mm -hmm. off one another and actually work together to accomplish a goal. And I want an entire season of that. Yeah. Where was that during all of SAO? <laughs> well, we, got yeah. we got Klein Sounds back. We got Klein back. I was thrilled. I'm just upset that we didn't in the bar going back real quick to the last the yeah. epilogue. I'm just upset we didn't see him in the bar like eating that curry pizza and drinking like a ginger ale. <laughs> That's he, what I'm upset about. He was drinking something hard. He oh, was yeah. drinking hardcore even though he had to go back to work later. <laughs> It makes yeah, the overtime to... more manageable and go by quicker. I did love here, how here. he was like, pass me a big boy drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Klein was a lot of fun. But basically, when they get down to this underwater kind of ruin, uh, temple ruins, uh, which if anybody's played Legend of Zelda, you know the water temples are the worst. So <laughs> Iron boots. Iron boots. <laughs> they they see an NPC and they accept this quest to go retrieve a pearl. So they go through, uh, they retrieve the pearl and come back, only to find out that the NPC is not actually on the up and up. He's actually the Kraken. Yeah. And I did like how the name was an anagram for Kraken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you didn't yell, release the Kraken when this went down, you're lying. You totally <laughs> did. <laughs> come on, guys. Admit it. Admit it. Um, but, uh, but it... They, they start to fight the creature and they realize that maybe resetting Kirito's stats wasn't the best option, <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, because, and your stats are slowed down anyway uh, when you're underwater. Uh, but then luckily some random player, God of the sea. God of the sea <laughs> interrupted the fight. They talked about stuff that didn't make any sense to anybody and then they both left. <laughs> and, like, well, this was fun. <laughs> because they, they found out that the uh, the pearl was actually an egg mm -hmm. for something that they would become... They have a thing with eggs recently. Yeah. There's a lot of eggs. A lot of for eggs. The for yeah. these yeah. eggs. For the um, creature that will eventually rule the seas wrote and these skies. these last couple of episodes was like having like babies on the brain or something. <laughs> it's uh, about birth and rebirth. It's a symbol, okay? I, would I think he was just trying to say, I need to plant some seeds for season three. I need to make sure there's some story going forward. <laughs> exactly. I would watch an entire series about the sea god and the kraken. Forget all these other little guys. I want to see that. <laughs> Show me that story. And and basically, uh, what and as they go back up to the surface, the sea god summons a whale. So they all get to ride a whale <laughs> back up to the surface, which was 
cute and adorable. And again, I really, I really liked seeing them all together mm -hmm. and and work on things together. I I would love more of that from this series. Uh, but then we cut back to the real world, and Kirito is getting a call from I don't recall the guy's name, but he's getting a call from the gentleman he was giving all uh, this entire story to because he was like, if you ever need me, you know, feel free to give me a call. And a call sure enough. <laughs> and sure enough, the Avengers need you, Kirito. Yeah. <laughs> it was a 10 second epilogue. It's basically you want to call him and uh, talk to him about the Avengers initiative, don't you? <laughs> Who's don't we? You? <laughs> don't you? Um, so go was, ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Can I say that I was really hoping that this the whale uh, storyline was going to turn into Star Trek Movie 5? <laughs> oh. We have to save the whale. <laughs> Basically, this whole thing was essentially pointless, but fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. we could have used a few more episodes like that. Right. Yeah. yeah, especially because of how heavy, you know, a lot of the beginning of SAO was with poor people dying all the time. <laughs> they did have that little arc where they all went fishing. That's or, true. Or, or, or they were cute to learn to fish. Kinda. That's true. That was an adorable episode, and that was a lot of fun. But now that we've gotten through um, SAO Extra Edition, we have three wonderful, wonderful guests, and we want to talk to you guys about your involvement with SAO. Um, how did you guys all get involved? Because um, like, I can't even imagine what the audition process was like. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we all auditioned probably, well, or Did you audition for Kirito too? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got the Kirito right. voice. Like, yeah. uh. You thought I sounded a little too young for him. A little too young. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a big mistake. On that part. <laughs> <laughs> you made a great Kirito. Uh, yeah, I think we. Well, I don't know about. I you. auditioned for Sachi and also for Sugo. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and actually, yeah. now that I think about, it, yeah, I, I auditioned for for Kirito. Kata and Diabelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think yeah, I did all three of those. Yeah, too, exactly. Yeah. I think that was those were the main three that went out to most of the guys. Yeah. Uh, and and I got Kata of of those three. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I auditioned for the same three characters that uh, he auditioned for. I didn't get any of those characters. <laughs> However, I did get a call. Uh, a couple weeks later, saying, "Hey, we want you to come in for this one character, and then we'll just have you do some." deaths throughout the show. <laughs> like, I did my one character in, like, half an hour of a two-hour yeah. session. You had a great death scream, by the way. Oh, thank you. I, I pride myself on, on my screams, actually. So got, like, pickaxed, you know, Yeah. Times. Oh, my. Well, no, like, the director was just like, no, make it bloody or make it gory or, like, we can't show blood in this scene. We can only let it come through the voices, so just go for it. And then nice. any fight scene, I think, like, basically any fight scene, I, I'm a soldier in there thrown around. I'm one of Rosalia's henchmen. I'm one of, um... I'm one of the people that one of my favorite lines of my incidental characters is there one in the, in the, first the first episode, episode after off, off camera line. Yeah, off camera line. Kayaba reveals that you will die in game, and I say, "Well, oh, that is such BS." <laughs> <laughs> like not even not even invested. Yeah, not even invested. Like, just like, oh, that is BS. Oh, come, on. Oh, come on, I'm gonna <laughs> die. Really? Such a it sounds like more like, like a mild done. inconvenience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It totally sucks, man. I know. Like, it gosh. sucks. Like, I was going to do stuff, oh. like, but now I've got to die. That, like, if totally a girl blow. in the real world. <laughs> I don't got a girl. Man. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni and everything. I, yeah, I love that. Klein. 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 I ordered a pizza. Uh, Avengers 4 comes uh, out in two weeks. How am I going to see that? I'm stuck in Then here. I would just jump off one of those bridges myself. <laughs> no. I was like, I'm missing the Avengers screws. That was the real reason why my character jumped off. Yeah. <laughs> no. But it no, would I be on Blu-ray by the time you got out. <laughs> no. Uh, but, that's, but that's pretty common as far as uh, sometimes, again, we all, we'll audition for... Uh, some certain movies, roles, yeah. and we may not get those roles, but then you know they'll they'll like what we did, or they they, they can hear our voice yeah. for something else, and they go, oh, well, you know, we'll. Put and you sometimes it'll be right just there. a placeholder too. Like they they'll just choose a couple of characters to audition for all the characters because Sword Art Online has so many. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, dear Process. lord. If they audition for every <laughs> single one of those characters. It would take forever. They, they would, would never have to record pull, the show. Yeah, they, they would, would have still to be auditioning the sides right now. For each <laughs> one. They would have to do a discussion for each individual one. So yeah, it's just, just a lot of time. And yeah. I just had a realization of why this was probably particularly like when I remember in the beginning of the show, we were like, I wonder if it was only Japan or if it was like all over the world. And I just realized, no, this wouldn't have been able to work in America. All those people who had to go in the hospital, like like 95% of them didn't have health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> End of season, why do you done? think 2,000 oh. people died in the first month? Yeah, why do you think <laughs> Breaking Bad American... wasn't set in uh, England those or anything? What, I got oh, cancer? Yeah. Oh, universal health care. Oh, season yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Definitely. <laughs> well, you mentioned you guys mentioned earlier that your your episode, The Red Nose Ranger, was voted one of the top three episodes of SAO. Period. Yeah. What's that like to just uh, have such positive fan response to the episode that you guys were involved in? Well, I don't think I even knew that. That no? was one of the, <laughs> I no, you were one of the top. No. I, wow. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It was really incredible, and especially at the uh, premiere of season two, because we were watching through all these three episodes before the actual first episode of season two aired, and the audience was very familiar with each of these episodes. <laughs> so they had the best reactions. Yeah. So uh, the line comes up, ooh, a treasure chest, and you hear the entire <laughs> audience, no! <laughs> <laughs> they were really Don't into it. Do it. And, if, and Bryce was sitting next to me. We were like, we were laughing. We're like, hey, here's a, here's a good drinking game. Every time Kirito lies, <laughs> every time he says, I will protect you, and he doesn't, or every time he says, you are going to be great. Shh. And yeah, we would be drunk by the end of the second episode. You would be dead of alcohol poisoning before anyone else dies on screen. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This episode in particular, oh, it's, it's so painful. Yeah. I gave Bryce so much crap for it, too. I was just like, why'd you take us to a higher level there, yeah. Kirito? Why did you do that? Why did you let yeah. us go? Well, it's your idea. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize it until I rewatched it. I was like, oh, God, I've been giving him crap for a year. <laughs> us are always like, why did you take us to that room? You're so greedy with your treasure chest. I know. Oh, I was dead because of you. I failed a trap check. I rolled a critical miss on that one. Oh, Sorry. That well, one. Yeah. You, you're all friends in real life. Did you guys know um, when you guys went into interview that you had all gotten parts as friends in the game, or in the show? We couldn't. Yeah. 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 That's the problem is the dreaded NDAs, yeah, the non-disclosure like, agreements. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, don't tell anyone. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so but uh, in sometimes, though, I mean, again, because we're coming in and out of sessions, and yeah. we'll be like, oh, hey. So <laughs> you're it. just in for something, huh? Cool. Yeah. You have fun? Yeah, cool. I, w I wonder what it is. <laughs> so did you guys not know and, uh, that you were all in the same episode together until... Not like, till later. Not yeah. till later. Not, yeah, they did the full announcement, and thankfully they announced our characters with uh, like soon after the main cast. Yeah, which it was nice. It wasn't too far off. Yeah. So, it was really it was really cool to see, and not just us. Like a lot of our friends are in this. Uh, I play tabletop with. So with like a Ro Rosalia and, <laughs> and, and KG's and uh, KG Tang, I forget which one he. Schmidt. 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 Yeah, yeah. Schmidt. Yeah. Oh. Um, we we all play MMOs together. Final <laughs> Fantasy fourteen. They won't let me be the. So really, hunter. no acting involved. <laughs> they don't let me be the rogue. <laughs> <laughs> So are, you play so, online games with a bunch of. Okay. <laughs> this is getting very meta. Yeah. <laughs> Inception. In How deep does it go? It's all, it's all preparation. <laughs> There's a game within the game. So well, many layers. You all do different types of voice work. Do you have a particular preference for the the type of voice work that you like to do? Like, do you love just getting to do anime, or do you prefer like the video game work, or uh, original <laughs> animation, or the audio books? I, I like to work. Yeah. <laughs> I motto. like to be get get a paycheck for exactly. providing a roof over my head, and I used it from my voice. <laughs> Honestly, that's yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, certain types of work uh, more technical than others. I mean, anime. Th there there are different challenges with different types of voiceover work. Like with anime, the the biggest challenge uh, for me, and I think most of us, is is the technical aspect of you know, you're having to fit. Mm -hmm. The lip flaps, and, and there are very specific timing parameters uh, that you have to fit your per, uh, performance to. Yeah. yeah. And still, but still make it sound organic and yeah. like it's coming out for the first time exactly. and not like you're fitting it to a very, uh, again, specific time code. Uh, so th that's challenging, but it's also very rewarding when you can get it right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Video games, you don't have that uh, same kind of. Um, Construction. Uh, Sometimes you still yeah. have to yeah. match it to the time code. Yeah, some I mean, like, it has to be exactly has to be the within same. Yeah. a certain, yeah, like, yeah. you can't be, you know, if, if the original line was five seconds, you can't spend 15 seconds. <laughs> 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 I am going to really chew the scenery on this <laughs> line. Yeah, yeah not, not I'd so imagine much. that that's also very hard, like what you said. It's, it's when you're matching lip flaps, you have to make it sound real. You're still acting, mm. but because you have that restraint, it, it's just... I mean, it's so much harder than just giving, like, for an animation where they're matching the actual animation to you because it's pre-recorded before they do that. And it, it, this part, because I remember, like, I always mention it, you watch the old subtitles from, like, back in the early 90s, and not half the work really went into it as much as it does nowadays yeah. where it's such a serious, like, no, act, 
make it real, <laughs> match the flaps, go. Well, that's I, another challenge is the reacting. Is, because yes. we work in video games and anime together, it's a lot of just one person in the booth at a time. Mm -hmm. We're relying on our own ma imagination for how our scene partner is going to be delivering his or her lines. <laughs> we have to react off of just what we think yeah. they're going to do. You're all like, no, don't do it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And sometimes we'll get the luxury in anime of having the lines uh, recorded before us. Somebody will be in like mm -hmm. in the scene and they'll have recorded before us and we can get something to play off it. of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but a, l a lot of times, like I said, it's just relying on our own uh, facilities, our own imagination. Yeah, because yeah. well, I mean, you're in a booth, and there's no, you know, we don't have props, you no. know, or anything like that. Like like stage actors, we're, we're not method be, actors. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you, you couldn't be. It would be. How would you do that? Okay, now actually, again, for my character, actually, now fall off. <laughs> your <Agreed. dad>. Okay. <laughs> no. We're gonna take we the microphone to the top of the uh, studio, not just it. jump. Okay. <laughs> exactly. uh, so you have to you have to hold all of that uh, in your. You have to imagine it. You yeah. Know, we're we're uh, really. Uh, delving into the, the realms of imagination and, and channeling that uh, through our performance in order to get the most organic um, performance that we can. And that's you a know, benefit of although, the... Although, you know, in our scene when um, Sachi does the humming, I had to match it exactly to the Japanese. Yeah. So they were playing it in, in my ear, and so I had to kind of chase it and like match all of the breaths that she takes and everything. So I did it a couple of times. They were like, you know, you were a little bit off key at that one point, or you got a little bit too fast. Can you do it again? And I'm like, mm. oh my God. Oh, I hate <laughs> singing in anime. It is so oh. annoying. Uh. <laughs> Lap, matching lip flaps. And, it's and, impossible because uh. of the way the translation goes and everything. Well, I'm just yeah. laughing because at her having to do. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like you know, she just like stand be like, I'm from sh like like I'm from America where this song comes from. I know how to do it better than she did. <laughs> you let me go with that. You want words? Rudolph the Red. Does she know the words? No, she didn't. <laughs> I don't know how to sing that. So I'm oh, so well. sorry. <laughs> well, and that part was like the most heartbreaking part of the entire episode. Oh. So uh, it was just, and see. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, have we crushed your soul enough? Okay, roll the credits. <laughs> You're really oh. good. Kid. Yeah, I just have to say yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was it's very a, sweet. It was a very touching performance. The audience completely went silent when that part came yeah. up. Yeah. Actually, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's so cool. laughs> Oh, well, we're running a little bit short on time, but I do want to ask you guys, what are there any upcoming projects that you're... I know with NDAs, you can't really say a whole lot, but if well, there's anything you can promote, anything you want to kind of plug, feel free, now's the time. We are all in Blood Lab, which yes. just came yes. out, yes. so yes. I hope you guys check that Jeez. out. One of the leads, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we kind of match your color scheme, yeah. too, with the yellow and black. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Blood Lad. Yeah. Blood Lad? Which is a very funny show. Yes. Check yes. Out. Yeah. Dub, Lots the of dub action. is very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. We're going um, to improv a lot in that. I, well, I don't know. Yeah. If you guys oh, yeah. It was, very, it was really cool. No, I just got punched in the, in the crotch a lot. That's yeah. all my character. <laughs> 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 did, well, you, did you go method with that, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did method acting with that one. I, I, just, like, I just kept the hammer uh, in the boot. Uh, yeah. Kirk's <laughs> like, do it again. Okay, now now I believe it. That's good. I can feel the pain. You guys are awfully dedicated. Um... Anything Others else? Uh, uh, I j just, I think, was it yesterday? Uh, I'm, I'm in this World of Warcraft cinematic that just got released, part Ooh. of their Lords of War nice. series oh. as, as young Durotan. Um, so check that out. Um, <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm in Sailor Moon, uh, which you can uh, buy yes. the first <laughs> sets. I think it's 23 episodes. I play Zoe Sites and uh, Motoki Furuhata nice. in that. Um, I can't wait to see your rendition of the episode where Zoisite gets chased by rats. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it so much. The, I, it's one I, of my I favorites. I so forward to that because I was rewatching that episode for the first time in forever and I could not stop laughing because it's the first time I saw the original the Japanese suits, version. Oh, oh my god. Suits of <laughs> yeah, so it just covered in rats. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. And it's okay. just like, yeah, this is... Well, um, sad. Oh, go oh, ahead, go sorry. ahead. Yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, I didn't want to interrupt. No, no, oh, please, uh, go. Um, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as for me, uh, Tales of Zillia 2 just came out, nice. and I'm in there. Mm. I do a cameo as Cress and a bunch of other incidentals. Um, Toradora is my yeah. big show that was just released. I play Ryuji Takasu in that one. And we just finished recording the first volume of Magi Season 2, so yeah, nice. that will be coming out hopefully soon enough. I'm really excited for that. And uh, there's been no announcement, but I'm just trying to get the hype train out there. 
Excel World, please, <laughs> yes. please, please I mean, ask on. for a second season. Yeah. It's a really it's good the, series. It's the writer of Sword Art Online. It's the same great world building, and there's been hints in Sword Art the second season that there might be a crossover because they are supposed to be in the same. Oh, world. that would be hilarious. Mm. No, there is there are some heavy hints that there's a connection between Kirito and Hadayuki. Oh. And actually, when I was at uh, Anime Expo, I talked to Reiki Kawahata, the writer of Sword Art, and and I asked him point blank, "Is there a connection?" And of course, he gave me the. <laughs> I'm not saying. I don't no, know. I mean, who maybe? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's hoping. We're look, looking forward to all of that. That's going to be great. Where can uh, AfterBuzz fans go to find you guys online to find out more? I am on Facebook and Twitter. Please look for me. Yeah. <laughs> and what is your handle on Twitter? <laughs> and, uh, on Twitter, I am it's Zadbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, well, you can go to my website, luciandodge.com. I know it's very complicated, <laughs> but I trust uh, you can figure it out. Uh, pretty much anything that's fit to print, uh, any new announcements I'll make on there. Uh, and I do have a Twitter and a uh, uh, fan page, uh, Facebook page, uh, which is just Lucian Dodge. It's my name. Sweet. So. Cool. And you can find me on Twitter at ekimmerer, E-K-I-M-E-R-E-R. And also on Facebook, I have a fan page under Eric Scott. No last name. It's way too difficult to pronounce. (laughs) (laughs) E-R-E-R-O. That's actually a new one. (laughs) I'm 26 years of life. That's a new one. So congratulations. (laughs) Thank you guys so, so much for coming to join us on the panel today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Tari, where can the people find you? Oh, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Tari J. That's T-A-U-R-I-J-A-Y. You can also catch me on the Doctor Who's Classic panel on Wednesdays. Uh, Also, uh, catch the finale of Extant this Wednesday as well. Liz? Hey guys, uh, you can find me, Liz Rich Maui, on Twitter and Instagram, same handle, at Lizzie Maui, L-I-Z-Z-Y, M-A-W-Y. I'm also going to continue doing the Sword Art Online panel here. Legend of Korra, season four, will start in October. We're trying to figure that out. And also, you can catch me on tomorrow's episode of the Doctor Who Recap. I'm Katie Cullen. You can find me on Twitter and Tumblr at Kiaxet. That's K-I-A-X-E-T. I am also on the Attack on Titan and Z Nation panels, both on Sunday, Classic Doctor Who on Wednesday, and Ruby every other Thursday. <laughs> and I'm Megan. You can follow me on Twitter at The Menguin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. I'm on a lot of those same ones. <laughs> You're <laughs> on all of the same ones. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to After Buzz tonight. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.